When my family was killed in front of my eyes, I had to hide under their bodies and play dead. I was there for hours before I was brave enough to run away. An older boy found me and we traveled together. He looked after me like his brother. When I was cold or scared or hungry, we spent months taking it in turns to sleep during the day and travel by night. But somewhere in Europe, we had an accident when we fell out of the lorry we were traveling in. I broke my ankle. My friend was pulled under the wheels and killed. My ankle was fixed, but the police beat me. No one knew how young I was. I felt I couldn't tell anyone the truth about my age, as I wouldn't be able to get to the UK. My mother died when I was very little, and my father died when I was seven. So I went to live with my grandmother. She died when I was 13. With no family around me, my education stopped, so I went to work instead. I was cleaning someone's house for a while, but they came home drunk one night and beat me for not doing a good enough job. I couldn't afford medical attention. A man approached me and promised me a better life in the West, so I left my home. There was a group of us that were transported from country to country handed over to different groups of men each time. We barely ate and we weren't allowed to talk. We were sometimes hit if we did. After about a year of traveling, I ended up in the UK 